Hold on. All good. Well, Jazz, you're back for another main event, man. Uh, is this just getting kind of routine for you? I mean, every time you fight, you're in a headliner now. What's going on? Nah, I mean, I'm happy that the UFC see the main event uh, collaborating me. And yeah, it's definitely a big opportunity. I uh, can't wait to go in there this Saturday and do my thing. I wonder if that gives you some confidence. I mean, I know you've had a couple setbacks along the way, but to know that the UFC looks at you and they go, that's the guy we can put in the main event and know that we can rely on. Does that give you some confidence to know that, you know, they believe in you in that way to put you in these opportunities? No, I definitely think, uh, I definitely think they see that I'm the guy you can put there and can get the job done. So I'm happy they recognize that. So for me, it's uh, now my, the day, the day is almost there for me to do my part. Nice. Uh, eight months, I believe, since we've seen you last. I think you were trying to fight in between there. I guess, what's that? What, what happened there? What's uh, this, this been like that you've had to sit out and kind of wait? I, it's like a, a mixed feeling. Uh, I wanted some time off. I wanted to fight like earlier than this, and then it takes a little bit longer. And then I had a fight, and then that fight got canceled because the guy got another opportunity, and then this happened. So um, I have peace with that. Uh, I feel good. I get a long time to prepare myself, you know, so here we are. Nice. What, what do you, when you have those time away and you have the time away from competition, how do you spend it? I mean, is it relaxing? Are you, uh, you know, focusing on adding new skill sets? Like, what's been the focus during this time away? Definitely relaxing and uh, focusing on my skill set, uh, especially taking some wrestling and jiu-jitsu classes. So, you know, it become a habit, second nature and stuff like that. You know, obviously, you're a seasoned striker that you are. I mean, is it frustrating to have to go, like, I got to spend all my days wrestling and grappling? Like, I, I mean, is that annoying for you to have to do? In the beginning, it feels like that. But, like, uh, when you do it, in, uh, after a while you're doing it, you're going to start embracing it. So, I'm at that point. Do you find joy in those training sessions, or do you hate them every time you go? No, I find joy because I learn a lot of things, learn a lot of tricks. So, and when things work out, then you start uh, adding more time to it. So. Maybe you start out, like, we see you shoot a double leg off the top to this Maybe. Thing. You never know. <laughs> uh, all right. Talk about the matchup. Shamil, you know, here you are. You've been main eventing. You've been at the top of the division. This guy's second fight, and he's in the main event against you. What did you think when this was the, the matchup that was given to you? Nah, first of all, um, when the UFC selected a guy for a main event, then you know it's a big deal. He has a perfect record. Um, he has given him his props, so you got to take him serious. 12-0, it's not that he's not doing nothing, so... Uh, this weekend, he's going to get to the test. And for me, it's like I want to win, and, and for him, he want to win. So it's going to be a big test for both of us. I want to win, so I'll go in there and get my hands raised after the fight. I don't know how he's going to deal with that. So, yeah. He's got just one fight in the UFC, so it's not like you probably have seen a lot of his footage. I mean, did you go out and seek, like, old – I mean, are you the kind of person that you, you want to see old tape and see what he's about, or do you, do you not worry about that stuff? No, we always worry about that. Uh, you study your fighter, you know, we are professionals, so you're definitely going to take time to study, see what you're up against, and, and that makes sense. So, yeah. yeah. You might shoot a double leg. Uh, do you think he's going to stand with you? Do you think he's going to be willing to stand and trade, or do you think he's going to look into to take you down right away? I definitely think he's going to try to take me down, but he also has decent hands, so uh, I know he can strike, so it's, it's, it's a chess match. Last thing for me, you know, a win here. Like you said, you've had the time away. You're still ranked in the division. You've been in all these main events. A win here, is there something that you want next? I mean, are you looking at names or, or locations or dates? Like, what do you see for yourself this year? Uh, after this Saturday win, um, I'm looking for – I'll take a couple of steps back because I feel like in my UFC career I make a couple of mistakes, a couple of missteps. I navigate a little bit away of my power. So I'm focusing on, on getting all the puzzle pieces together. I'm finding the puzzle pieces already. So I already feel like, like I feel my, 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 my real, real power again. So um, I'm focusing on that. And then I want to get back like close to August, July, August. And then, yeah. Hey, Jorginho. I just want your thoughts on the heavyweight division right now. Um, obviously, it's in a weird position because John's waiting to fight Stipe. John's her. It's so not going to be till later. Tom's the uh, interim champion, but we don't know if, he, if he's going to defend yet. Like, if you were the matchmaker right now, who would who should Tom Aspinall fight? Nah, right now, who Tom should fight? That's 
I don't know. I think a fight with Cyril Gaon makes sense. I've got fight with Cyril Gaon makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Thank you.